हेलो स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी डेवलपमेंट ऑफ हाईवे प्लानिंग इन इंडिया आफ्टर फर्स्ट वर्ल्ड वॉर गवर्नमेंट अपॉइंटेड रोड डेवलपमेंट कमिटी इन 1927 हेडेड बाय मिस्टर एम आर जेकर नाउ वेरियस रिकमेंडेशन आर गिवन बाय द कमिटी ऑफ जेकर दैट इज नोन एज जेकर कमिटी नाउ द फर्स्ट रिकमेंडेशन ऑफ जेकर कमिटी इज रोड डेवलपमेंट शुड बी कंसिडर्ड एज नेशनल इंटरेस्ट नाउ द फर्स्ट रिकमेंडेशन गिवन बाय द जेकर कमिटी इज दैट द रोड डेवलपमेंट शुड बी कंसिडर्ड एज नेशनल इंटरेस्ट ओके सो द रिजल्ट ऑफ दिस रिकमेंडेशन इज डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन ऑफ फंड फॉर रोड डेवलपमेंट एंड कंस्ट्रक्शन so after the first recommendation the government had distributed fund for the road development and for the construction of the roads as well as for the highways now the next recommendation of jaker committee is an extra tax should be charged on petrol and diesel for road development it means that according to the second recommendation of jaker committee we need to impose the extra charge on petrol and diesel for the developments of the existing roads the result of this recommendation is the central road fund in 1929 that is known as crf now what do you mean by crf now central road fund is a type of money which is generally kept for the development of existing road now one note is written here that currently extra tax on petrol and diesel is rupees 2 per liter it means that the total cost of petrol is suppose that rupees 88 now out of this 88 rupees 2 rupees is kept as central road fund which is generally taken as an extra tax on petrol and diesel out of which 0.5 rupees per liter kept aside for the construction development and maintenance of national highway and the remaining 1.5 rupees per liter is distributed to the state according to their collection it means that out of the 2 rupees only 0.5 rupees is taken for the development of particular road or national highway and 1.5 rupees is given to the state according to their collection now it is according to the second recommendation of jaker committee now the third recommendation of jaker committee is a semi official technical body should be established for specification and design now according to the third specification or third recommendation of jaker committee now we have to establish a semi official technical body which will give us the specification and design of national highway state highway and other roads so the various parameters of highways as well as other district roads major district roads and all the roads are same throughout the india so as a result we had developed the irc that is indian road congress in 1934 which will give us the specification and design of all the highways as well as all the roads now according to the fourth recommendation of jaker committee we have to develop an organization for the research and development of the material which will be used in the construction of highways as well as testing for the highways and the roads now as a result crri that is central road research institute established in 1950 which had done following works the first one is optimum use of fly ash in m20 grade concrete is given by crri and the next one is developed bump integrator for calculation of unevenness index so for the calculation of unevenness index of a particular road crri developed bump integrator now the next one is long term planning that is the fifth recommendation of jaker committee that we have to more focus towards the long term planning of the road as a result we had developed various 20 years road plans and following acts are also developed the first one is the motor vehicle act that is 
we had developed the motor vehicle act in 1939 now the next act is the national highway act in 1956 next one is nhai that is national highway authority of india in 1988 it works under morth that is ministry of road transport and highway and the last one is nhdp that is national highway development program in 1998 golden quadrilateral is done under this program now in golden quadrilateral four major cities from four different directions are connected by road that is delhi in north calcutta in east mumbai in west and chennai in south so all these four cities that is delhi calcutta mumbai and chennai are connected by a road and this road is known as golden quadrilateral and it is given by nhdp that is national highway development program now that is all about the development of highway planning in india thank you very much students